Well, I'm back. I just had to drop off my brother's baseball bag to my old high school. And I've been gone for a couple days. And I just don't know what the fuck to do. Shit's gotten real, guys. Not gonna lie. More people have left me than I thought. Just for the last, like, week, I've sat back and thought about everything. and I just don't know what to do. Just shit's gotten real. And I'm not gonna sit here and fucking complain and whine and bitch. Because that's just not who I am. I'm sorry if it gets dark. The lighting's not too great out here. <clears throat> Should've waited till I got home to make this video, but... I ain't got nothing to do while I'm on my way home, so fuck it. I'm making it now. And it's a long ass walk home, and I'm fucking dead tired already. Because I just woke up like an hour ago. But. I don't know. I don't want to stay away from YouTube, but at the same time, I don't even want to fucking make YouTube. I just. I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but the last like six, seven days, it's just shit went downhill for me and I'm fucking like just dying inside. I'm dead inside, man. I feel like I'm going emo, bro. I don't know what the f heck or what's going on with me. But I ha I think I got a plan for this YouTube stuff. And I've still been reading your comments and everything. And I'm still talking to Brian. And one a couple people ask me, are you still going to talk to Brian? No oh, shit, I'm still going to fucking talk to Brian, guys. Like, he's my brother. Yeah, he's fucking busy as shit. And he hasn't been uploading. But damn, he's got a life too. Just because I dropped out of school and ain't got no life doesn't mean fucking he didn't and doesn't have a life. He's, he's a fucking online school and then fucking actually has a job working, making some decent money and has a life and does stuff. Has a girlfriend. Fuck. Leave him alone. But, I mean, after this like, I don't know, seven days gotten a little bit better like mentally i'm just i basically just made that quit video out of rage and anger towards myself basically i uh that was just me being me like in my own feels and like in my own head because if you don't know me personally i am not good in my head by myself i'm like legit mentally unstable and I just realized I am really out of fucking shape because I am out of breath. Uh, uh. Well, maybe you should work out more. Well, you suck my dick. It fucking hurts, okay? Fucking nigger. God damn. Fucking Billy. But, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm still gonna upload once in a while here. But I think I got a plan for my, like, actual comeback. I'm not gonna discuss it with, like, on a video. I'm gonna talk to Mr. Camouflage and see what he thinks. Because I got some shit planned that I want to talk to him about. I've been talking to little mama scoots girl. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got some plans. And, uh, well, with this being, like, Easter weekend, we can't really do much because... Everyone's got to be with their families and, you know, <sighs> yeah, so, shit, it's already been four minutes, I only walked this far in four minutes, god damn, I'm a slow fucking walker, I used to be a fast walker, like, it took me like a half an hour just to get to the school from my house, and it usually takes like, ten minutes when I used to go to school, I don't know, maybe I just got lazy. Sorry if the fucking camera keeps switching sides, I keep switching hands. But, my arms get tired. 
Because scumbag Sean wants to throw me off a wall. Fuck him. Yeah. We're not going to get into that. But, you know, people want to bitch and complain because I write cover songs. People want to bitch and complain because I don't write my own songs. Bitch, I got a song written. Me and Brian wrote it a long ass time ago. At least like two months ago now. We just don't have the time to get together. We, we're far away, people. you got to understand our situation here. He lives in Scranton. I live in Susquehanna. That's like a good fucking hour and a half drive because people don't know how to fucking drive. That's like a good fucking 50 miles away. I can't just fucking hop on my damn gold painted scooter and fucking ride away. Go down to his place and be like, Mom, I'm going to Brian's to fucking record a song. It doesn't happen like that. I could just write fucking independent songs, but what the fuck am I going to write about? Like, I ain't, my fucking life ain't that exciting. And then I can't fucking ask you people because you people don't ask me or don't fucking write anything in the comments except for fucking hate. And that's another reason why I fucking wanted to quit YouTube. That's why, another reason why I made that fucking qu I quit video. The fucking hate, man. I'm just trying to fucking be me, man. If you fucking check on any fucking artist, whether it be fucking rock, country, pop, rap, they all started fucking slowly making their own songs and doing covers of other people's songs. Y'all don't know the fucking music industry. Y'all don't know what goes on behind the scenes. You just know what happens, what goes on your fucking radios. Sorry, I had to pause the video, guys. There's a tractor. There's still a tractor coming through, but there was a guy that I didn't see sitting there. I didn't want to look like a retard talking to a camera. But y'all don't know what happens behind the scenes to fucking actually become like a fucking actual recording artist and fucking... Make it big in the industry. You don't know what happens. You just know what fucking pops up in fucking iTunes and fucking the Google Play Store and fucking what what comes up on your fucking radio stations. You don't know how those people started out. I actually done my research. Yeah, I dropped out of high school, but this is something I'm passionate about. This is shit I actually research because I'm passionate about. Like my mom always says. If my schooling was all about fucking cars and fucking hunting and fucking fishing and goddamn music, my ass would have passed with flying colors and I probably would have graduated in the fourth grade. God damn it, lighting. I don't want to look black. And people quit bitching at me because I rag on fucking some black people. Big deal. Y'all don't know my past. I've had bad experiences with black people. That's why I fucking hate most of them. There are some black people that I like. There's a black guy that lives in Susquehanna. We call him Jerry. At least I think that's what his real name is. His name, real name is Gerald on Facebook. I talk to him all the time. Hell, my godfather was a fucking black Navy, Navy SEAL. Well, it was supposed to be. But he unfortunately died right before I was born, I think my mom said. I forget. So... Just because I rag on some black people, doesn't mean I hate them all, motherfuckers. If you knew what I've been through in my past, you know why I say some of the shit I do. That's the fucking thing about people today. They fucking judge people before they even get to know them. They fucking cut them out before they even get to see who they really are. They just see what's on the cover. They don't see what's fucking underneath. That fucking old saying, don't judge a book by its cover, that shit's fucking true. And I actually fucking live by that if you didn't fucking know. I actually get to know, know a person. But if you're gonna pop off and call me a fucking... If you're a black person, you're gonna pop off and call me a fucking nigga. Bud. One, I already know that black people call other black people and their buddies nigga with an A, 
And I don't even know you, so don't call me your nigga. Because we haven't even gotten to know each other. So chill the hell out. And if you're going to fucking just be a prick to me, I'm going to be a prick to you back. You treat me like shit, I'm going to treat you like shit. Fucking hell. Everybody wants to whine and complain. Oh, I don't get treated right. I want... I, I There's no equal rights. Well, fucking bitch. Fucking start treating people right yourself. Look in a goddamn mirror. Practice what you preach, motherfucker. God damn. Y'all assholes will be sitting here fucking... Calling people fucking retards just for adding you on fucking Snapchat or some shit. And then fucking... Ten minutes later, you go and add some random fucking person on Snapchat. They do the same thing to you, and then you go and fucking bitch and complain about it on your story. Or do your friends. Shut up. You fucking hypocrite. That's like top ten, like top five of my pet peeves. Fucking hypocrites. And people like that. Quit being a fucking douchebag to everyone, man. Just shut up. And I still got people ragging me on my, uh, ragging about... Fuck, I can't even talk. Ragging on me about the Confederate flag. Dude, I explained the fucking history to you. And shit that I didn't even say in the video. Here you go. The story behind my stepfather's family being from the South is my, uh, my stepfather's grandparents were from Savannah, Georgia, which if you didn't know, is in the South. My grandfather, well, my great-grandparents on his side were from Savannah, Georgia, which were her, his grandparents. My grandfather, my grandpa Gary, was born in Massachusetts, and then my stepdad was born in New Hampshire. And when he was born, he was closer to my, his grandfather and grandparents, so he picked the South. He liked the way that, he liked that lifestyle. He liked that type of music. That's what he was raised up on. That's what he surrounded himself with. So when he met my mom, that's what he raised me around. That's how I was raised. That's what I was raised around. That's what I got brought up on. I was raised up on fucking old rock, old country, listening to ACDC, George Jones, Alan Jackson, Kenny Chesney, Patsy Cline, Dolly Parton, old Reba McIntyre and then when I got a little older when the new country came out it was Jason Aldean, Luke Bryan, Brantley Gilbert, Dirks Bentley like this is all I've ever known I've worn my first pair of fucking shoes was a pair of boots I still have them to this day and if I continue this fucking recording till I get to the house I'll even show you my first pair of boots were from my stepdad and I still have them on my rack in my room. That's all I've known since I was basically born. The story behind my mom is, she was just raised around Elvis, old rock. My mom, my mom and stepdad were born in the 60s and 70s. They ain't hippies. Oh shit, almost dropped the phone. But we, they grew up in that era. So I know all the oldies. I know all the old pop oldies. I know all the old countries. I know the old rocks. I know Bon Jovi. Fucking. I dabble in a little bit of Pantera. Uh, Def Leppard is another big influence I got from my stepfather. Dude. That's just who I am. That's how I was raised. Fuck, I pick on yuppie people, but I have plenty of fucking city folk friends. Hell, when me and Brian first met, he was city as, as city can be. That motherfucker came to school, fucking flat brim hats, fucking, fucking khaki pants, skater shoes. If you go back on his old channel, Douchebag Incorporated, that's what his channel originally was. It used to be sc Douchebag Skating. He was a skater boy. Fucking lighting. Hello, I'm over here. I'm not black. 
my fucking hair is being a dick. Look at this. Yeah, I got to always represent, bro. But I've had plenty of like city friends. I used to, I went through a city phase. I used to wear flat brim hats. I used to play video games nonstop. I, t I attempted to ride skateboards and then almost broke my face. Yeah, that didn't go too well. I ride my scooter. But then again, I still love pickup trucks. I ride four wheelers. But y'all, if you see me in a pair of fucking sweatpants and fucking sneakers, that doesn't mean I'm not fucking country. Country is in your heart, not your closet. It's what you were raised around. It's what you believe in. Don't fucking rag on someone just because of what they wear. That doesn't re represent who they are. Yeah, I might listen to a little bit of rap music. So what? A lot of people listen to rap music. There's a whole fucking genre of fucking country people rapping. Better than half the fucking rap people in the hip-hop charts. For instance, I'm not even going to mention fucking up church. For instance, we got Redneck Soldiers. We got Bottleneck. We got Demon Jones. Adam Calhoun. Big Murph. Jelly Roll, Just In Time, and a lot of people might hate me because of the food that Up Church and this guy had and Adam Calhoun, but Hozier, he was kind of okay. You guys just gotta use your brains. And I've been saying that for months. Use your heads, people. Use your heads. Don't be fucking retarded. But I'm going to pause this video until I get to the house because my arms are getting tired. I'll show you those fucking boots and then I'll end it. So, yeah. I'll be back at you in a minute. Well, in a, for you in a second. For me, about five minutes. Because I'm walking slow. I'm tired. Fuck this shit. I hate walking. Alright, I said I'd come back at you at the house, but I had to show you this. <laughs> Sexy. Mr. Camouflage, you're going to love this one. Oh, sexy. Hunk of shit. Let me find those boots. There they are. Oh, fuck. I'm just hiding balls up in the bush. And I'm dropping everything. Fuck you, cock. These things. First pair of boots. There you go. But I'm gonna get out of here because I'm dead tired. Upload this. And see what happens from here. So. I will see y'all in the next video. Whenever it comes out. Uh. I forget my outro. It been so long. Been like two weeks man. Been like two weeks man. Uh. If you like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave any suggestions in the comments. Leave some songs I can write about. Or just leave some subjects in the comments I can write about for songs. Um, parodies. I can do parodies. Uh, leave some cover suggestions if you want. Leave anything in the comments. If you leave hate, you're just probably either going to get roasted or blocked. I don't care. Um, keep the channel growing. I might not be posting that much, but we could still keep the channel growing for when I do post more. And uh, check my s social media, my Snapchat, my Instagram, my Facebook, all that bullshit. And I will see y'all in the next one. Later.